Yo, how is everyone doing today? My name is Connor, but you guys can call me Superior. And today, this gameplay is the world's highest gun streak ever gotten in the Heavy Duty playlist. Now, when I say world's highest, I mean it is the world's highest on YouTube. And, um, you know, it, there could be Mr. McRandom Bob boob licker 69 out there who doesn't do youtube who doesn't upload youtube videos has no way of recording it who got like a 300 gun streak and we would have no way of knowing so it is the world's highest that can be proved now one of the things that i make that i think make this gameplay so impressive is look at the map it's on stonehaven who likes to play stonehaven i know personally whenever i get this map in any game type ever i back my ass out because this map is so big and every single person blends in with every little moss on a brick type whatever castle thing it is you just can't find anyone you can't see anyone it's just a big pain to play this map so the fact that i was able to get the world's highest gun streak on it is absolutely beyond me now i understand that it is with the ak-12 and that is one of the best guns in the game but you know what do you expect it's the world's highest gun streak. I don't expect I don't expect anyone to be setting world records with like the CBJ or that crappy submachine gun, whatever it's called. Um, because if they were setting um world records with those crappy guns, imagine what they could be setting with the AK-12 or the Honey Badger or even the Remington. So I really do hope you guys enjoy this gameplay, just because it was a lot of fun for me to get, and it was a lot of work. Also, recently. Um, I re kind of retired from Domination, or at least the Domination playlist, and uh, I've start, started playing a, quite a bit of Heavy Duty, just because in Heavy Duty, there are three game types, Team Deathmatch, Domination, and Blitz is the other one, and Blitz, you can always get a solid spawn trap on, the only problem with Blitz is that your teammates always seem to cap the portal whenever you're on the streak, and the game will end at 16 caps, and you can never quite get that KEM strike or the double or whatever you're on, and Team Deathmatch is fun, it's a nice change of pace, it's a little slower than Domination or Blitz, but it does suck because you have to get a third of your team's kills if you expect to get a KEM strike. But on the bright side with that team deathmatch is I've gotten two TDM K KEMs today. And normally whenever team deathmatch comes up, same with Stonehaven, I always leave the game. Just because I know I'm not going to have any fun playing the game because I can't get a KEM or anything. Um, so it's just kind of a waste of time at that point. So definitely try out the Heavy Duty game type. If you are tired of Domination or Blitz or whatever you're playing, try out the Heavy Duty. Even though there is more health, you don't really notice it. It only takes a bullet or two extra to kill them. And um, it takes a bullet or two extra to kill yourself too. So it definitely works both ways. It's not a one-sided thing. And it's definitely a fun game type, guys. If you haven't tried it, definitely try it out. All the kids in it aren't the best. If you notice, the ranks on the other team are all kind of low, and their KDs weren't the best either. Um, so it's definitely it's fun. You know, it's definitely a change of pace. It freshens the game up. And um, another thing I wanted to talk about was the Xbox One. I should be getting the Xbox One here in the next week or two, um, at the most in like two weeks. So I definitely want to play with you with a lot of you guys on the Xbox One. So if any of you have the Xbox One and you guys want to play some heavy duty or domination or blitz or whatever you guys play with me on the Xbox One, just drop a comment down below and I will gladly send you a friend request. You guys can send me a friend request or whatever. Um, I'd be more than happy to play with you guys. It's a lot of fun because I notice that whenever I play with a bunch of people, I rage a lot less than when I play solo. Like, I think my solo KD, or not my KD, my solo win-loss is like point oh 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 one, And then my my win-loss when I play in a party, it's like 100. So it kind of all averages out to like a point six win-loss I think I have. It's pretty awful, but definitely playing in a party, it's fun. You know, you have people to talk to and interact with. And playing solo, you just sit there and rip your hair out because you're getting dookied on all the time. But that's about it for this video, guys. If you guys are new and you enjoyed and you can't wait to find out what's more to come on this channel, click the subscribe button. We are so close to 700 and pretty close to 1,000 subscribers too, which is absolutely crazy. Um, other than that, have a fantastic day, guys. Peace out.